Hi guys, welcome into the video. I ran a poll recently and you guys said that you wanted to see my weekly planning routine, how I set up my weekly schedule for productivity. I do my weekly planning in Notion as I do with all of my planning. And we're gonna just go ahead and plan a week together and I'm gonna show you guys how I've been kind of trying to strategize my weeks. So it's currently Sunday. We're gonna go ahead and plan the week ahead. I think planning your weeks in advance instead of just trying to plan your days is really nice because it allows you to kind of look more at the big picture and be more intentional a little bit with your time versus starting off every day, filling a to-do list with random tasks and just kind of like winging it day to day. Like I feel like you can be a lot more strategic, intentional when you're thinking about your time and weekly chunks. Okay, so this is my weekly planning spread. If you've watched I don't know, I, I've, t I've shown this many times. <laughs> if you've watched any of my Notion videos, you've seen this spread. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is put in any scheduled events or things that I have to do at specific times. I don't always know everything that I'm gonna have scheduled for a particular week, but I can get some like core things in there that I know about in advance. So this Saturday is actually my 24th birthday. So that's exciting. We're obviously going to be putting that on the events for that day. I'm also not going to allow myself to do any work or productive tasks on Saturday because I just want to have fun, enjoy myself. The only thing that I do have to do is journal because I'm doing a 30 day journal challenge right now. So that's it. And I'm not letting myself schedule anything else for that day. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. I have to go to the car shop with my boyfriend. Not as exciting as the birthday, but has to be done. Oh, and then Wednesday, I want to do a massage at night. I haven't booked it yet though, so. We'll see if I'm actually able to get that in. And then every Sunday I have a singing lesson at 6 p.m. So that's gonna go in the calendar as well. And then I also think I might play tennis with my friends, Sammy and Marissa tomorrow. Unknown, so I'll put a little question mark on that one. So now that we've put in all of the like physical appointments slash things I have to do at specific times, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the things I want to get done this week and just sort of brain dump a bunch of tasks that I wanna schedule into the week. This has been something that I've really been enjoying doing instead of immediately trying to jump into planning what I'm doing every day of the week instead looking at the list that I need to get done at some point this week and then divvying things up I feel like that is a little easier because I can just brain dump and then schedule everything pretty much every week I have to film a video and edit a video I'm usually editing a video that I filmed the previous weekend filming a new video on Saturday or Sunday so since I'm obviously filming this video today my how I plan my weeks video that's gonna have to be edited this week and I do kind of want to try and post that this week because it does take me quite some time to like get a video done I really like breaking it down into slightly more specific steps when I'm putting it on like a to-do list so I'll put edit weekly planning video that can take hours I want to time it sometime and actually see how long it takes so I can schedule it better because oftentimes I'll like try to edit and schedule and upload a video in one day and it's just too much like it's very rare that I can get a video done in one day. So I'm trying to get better about gauging how much time things actually take me and blocking off time accordingly. So then I'll also put export, upload, and schedule weekly planning video because all of those tasks kind of go together. And then also create weekly planning video thumbnail. Okay, so those are my weekly YouTube tasks. Something else I also really wanna get done this week is something that's been on my monthly goals for June that has not yet been tackled. I love having monthly goals up at the top of the page to refer to when I'm planning my weeks, just to make sure that I'm incorporating those things. So I wanna actually film the singing transformation clips this week. I wanna create kind of comparison videos from when I first started singing to my two year transformation, cause it's been about two years, a little over two years since I started. So I really wanna make sure that I get that done this week. And one more task I wanna put on here is to build my new desk. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually start planning day by day. So as far as Monday goes, I know I'm gonna be going to the gym. So let's go ahead and put LA Fitness in for my workout. In terms of priority tasks, I think I can start editing the weekly planning video. I'm also gonna to put to film my singing transformation clips because I have tomorrow off for Juneteenth. So probably like the most realistic day for me to get those clips done. And honestly, between those two tasks, like that could easily take my afternoon, especially if I do end up playing tennis and I go to LA Fitness, like that's a full freaking day. I've been putting journal in my sticking to goals section every single day to make sure that I'm sticking to that goal because journaling every day doesn't come naturally. I definitely have to constantly remind myself to work on that and I won't 
my guys, I have missed one day. Just one, but I did miss one day, so I need to make sure that I'm putting it on my to-do list. It would be awesome if I could get this weekly planning video done tomorrow, but I don't feel like that's entirely realistic, and I'm trying to be more realistic about my timelines. So we're gonna put the export, upload, and schedule part onto Tuesday, as well as finish editing. And then I think I'm gonna actually post the weekly planning video on Thursday, cause I just posted a video today. So I wanna space out my videos at least like four or five days. So let's go ahead and move this going live down to Thursday. Totally forgot that I need to film my monthly reset this week as well, which is gonna be slightly tricky because I do typically film on Saturdays and obviously my Saturday is gonna be booked and busy because it's my birthday. So maybe we'll schedule that in on Sunday and then I'm just gonna have to work on that very quickly because I would love to get it up Monday or Tuesday. It's probably gonna be more like Tuesday. I would love to post it earlier. I just like, when else would I film it? It's so tricky with the monthly resets because I want the month to be almost over so that I actually can talk about the month in a meaningful way and not have to be like, this doesn't count the last 10 days of the month, you know? So it's not like I would wanna film it tomorrow. It's a little tricky. We're gonna plan it for Sunday for now. And then I'm also gonna put start editing monthly reset as well as create monthly reset thumbnail. And let's put create weekly planning video thumbnail on Monday. So that's all the YouTube tasks that I think I need to do this week. It's quite a lot. YouTube is probably the number one thing that I end up scheduling in Notion because it is a lot to manage. There's a lot of steps involved for every single video. And if I don't think about my content in advance, I end up like pushed up against the wall, nothing filmed, nothing to edit, like lost. So I really like planning as far in advance as possible and trying to get ahead when I can. So we've scheduled most of the things on the things I wanna get done this week. But we still need to schedule building my new desk. I feel like that's something I could squeeze in on a work day this week Like in between work building my desk. We don't really have anything on Thursday So maybe I'll just put build my desk <laughs> under the priority tasks yeah, let's go with that. As far as just like chores, regular life maintenance, I wanna do my laundry on Friday. I've really been enjoying trying to squeeze in chores on weekdays when I can so that it doesn't feel like my weekends are completely consumed by like those small low value tasks. I'd rather use them as like breaks during my work days because then it doesn't feel so like, I don't know, draining, annoying, <laughs> etc. Oh. Almost forgot, let's put on the quick ticks for tomorrow to schedule my Wednesday night massage. I also need to finalize my birthday plans. I need to make a reservation for the sushi place if they take reservations, hopefully they do. And I need to buy the tickets for the movie we're gonna go see before it sells out. I don't think it'll sell out, but you never know. So let's go ahead and put that on the quick ticks. Finalize birthday details, sushi reservation, movie tickets. Scheduling a lot for Monday, but it is because it's a day off for me. So I do feel like I'll have time to do these things. Obviously a normal Monday would not be this crazy chock full. A lot of these things would usually defer to like Saturday, but obviously this week's different because that's my birthday. So I'm actually kind of wrapping up with work right now. So the role that I've been in the last year was actually like basically an internship program. It was actually supposed to end back in May, but they extended me because I got offered a position in the fall. So they wanted to like tide me over till then, but I actually requested for the extension to not be so long so that I could take some time off in between the two roles, which I am so happy to be able to do. And I'll talk a little bit more about my plans for the break that I'm taking in my July reset, but I'm actually no longer gonna be working starting I think July 7th is the date. So I only have like three more weeks of work, which is actually crazy. <laughs> it kind of feels like the last few weeks of school before summer break. Like it's very exciting. But that being said, I really wanna make an effort to be in the office more these last few weeks because it's my last few weeks with my team and I really love my team. So I wanna like give it a proper farewell and see everybody and be an active participant. So I'm gonna actually schedule my office days, which I don't usually do, but I feel like these last few weeks, I wanna make sure I'm going in. Let's go ahead and put Tuesday and Thursday as an office day. 
oh my god, there's one key thing that I forgot to put on my weekly schedule, and that is singing practice. I really have been being more diligent about putting this on my to-do list because it is something that I often drop the ball on, to be completely honest, and can tend to procrastinate. So let's go ahead and put that on my lists. It's easiest for me to practice singing on days where my boyfriend is not here because I have the apartment to myself. So he's not gonna be here Tuesday night, so we can put singing practice on there. He won't be here Thursday night. Let's also put it on Friday night. There are some things that I find kind of difficult to plan in advance just because they are so situational, dependent on how I'm feeling on a specific day. So like for example, my workouts, whether or not me and my boyfriend get to the gym depends on both of our moods, how much sleep we got the night before, whether we actually get up at our alarms, <laughs> etc. And that's just kind of how it is. So I don't feel like it's very useful to plan those in advance. It's kind of something that gets decided on the fly. And I think it's okay to have that balance of planning things so that you can make sure that the main things you want to get done that week get done but also allowing every day to be its own thing and to be a little intuitive with it and see where the day takes you and allow yourself to adjust your plans based on how you're feeling how much energy you have that day things that are going on in your life etc none of this is meant to be set in stone and that's another reason why i love notion so much is that things can be dragged around so oftentimes like if i don't finish some of these tasks on monday i will just drag them to the next day i won't even keep them written on that day i'll just move them around it's not not so much about making sure you check off every box every day. It's more like the big picture perspective and wanting to make sure you're using your time well and eventually getting to those things, whether it's on the day you first assign them to or a day later. And yeah, that's kind of the um, bones of my week. The starting point, like you can see a lot of the days, especially in the middle of the week are pretty bare. That's obviously because those are work days. So I obviously have a lot more time on the weekends. That's when I tend to schedule in the majority of my tasks and goals and I generally for weekdays will take that more day at a time and typically make physical to-do lists for my work tasks and if I do have free time I'll try to fit in other things and then obviously at the end of the week whatever does not get accomplished I will literally just drag into the looking ahead for next week section so that I can make sure that that gets scheduled next week and I also at the end of the week in addition to checking things off every single day I'll go into the overall weekly to-do list and check off the things I got done just so I can see like what I really accomplished in that week. So yeah, that's my weekly planning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it. And if this is your first time here or you've watched my videos before and for some reason have not subscribed, you should totally subscribe. I post lots of content about life in my 20s, productivity, personal development. So if any of that interests you, definitely be sure to subscribe. I'll see you back here next week with my July monthly reset and we will plan and prep for my fun employed era. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.